part or my claim to fame in the past years. Um, uh, I'm friends with Jörg Budgereit, the infamous uh, uh, Berlin uh, underground filmmaker who's uh, very uh, 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 famous for his films like Necromantic, Der Todeskind, and um, Schramm. Um, very gory, uh, but more kind of art house uh, horror movies. And um, when he was young, in uh, 82, he did a um, Super 8 movie called Captain Berlin. And um, he himself played Captain Berlin. And the costume was a game of death um, from Bruce Lee, a game of death, a uh, yellow jumpsuit, a red Adidas uh, brief, some um, yeah, Springerstiefel, we call them, kind of a, a, a military boots, um, a Berlin flag as a cape, he's stolen from a, a, a pole uh, sometimes. <laughs> And in the original movie, uh, he had a Spider-Man mask on, a rubber Spider-Man mask. And he did a movie with that, where he fights an obscure kind of uh, uh, Gary Newman look-alike, and it has a very catchy uh, uh, theme, a theme song, and uh, Captain Berlin, Retter der Welt, Superheld. And um, when well, he did that, and um, it ended up on a few of those DVDs as extra. And 20 years later, um, he was doing, a, he was doing a, a radio play for uh, Westdeutsche Rundfunk, WDR. And he revisited uh, his character, Captain Berlin, which has, to that moment, no backstory. He was just a guy in... Uh, in, in, a, in a strange uh, costume, and with this um, with this uh, uh, radio play with a title of uh, Captain Berlin vs. Dracula, he added a World War II uh, background to it. Berlin outfit, he comes to the place of action and gotten told by the police guy that he, uh, that, that comrade Berlin, uh, ended up in the Beate Ude sex shop getting rid of his Begrüßungsgeld. Um, they used to have back then when you came from, from, from uh, the German Democratic Public uh, as a visitor, you got 100 German marks uh, uh, cash on, on your hand. And uh, he got that to get some very special literature. <laughs> but, um, oh well, he doesn't take it lightly and they start a fight. And um, he's a very strong guy, but his um, outfit made of uh, Plaste und Elaster aus Stoppau, a uh, special East German plastic uh, 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 fabric, which was um, waterproof else, but then you can um, a breath in that. So uh, he's getting tired, <laughs> and um, but basically 50% with some action figure stand-ins or uh, uh, photos I found on the internet, uh, and the rest I tried. I tried to do a, a certain amount from my imagination, from what I know. I know not so much sometimes. Uh, all the stuff is always a little bit uh, uh, has to has to do. I have to do it sometimes very quick and very fast mm -hmm. because uh, you 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 can make some money with that, but you can't make a living with that. Uh, only with that. It always has to be a mix, but I guess that was uh, a lecture last week about.
Actually, these are even much nicer than the full colorized version. Captain Berlin is always uh, very full of historical allusions, for example, these are, is, are supposed to be in the Anschutz and Neubauten. Uh, because it takes place, this story at least takes place in the 80s, a lot of other stories, uh, you know, some of them take place in the Second World War and uh, other times, because it doesn't really age. I don't know, I don't know why exactly, but somehow he, he never ages. Colored by me, I have to add, because it's, it's kind of the house style of the of the Weisblech Verlag. Uh, they they use these old school t uh, 32 c colors that they used to use, used to have in comic books in the in the 70s. When I do my own comics, of course, I do my own page layouts and breakdowns. But in this case, uh, the the Levin Puyo, who is one of the authors, the co-authors, together with your, your book guide, uh, he he did. Breakdowns like scribbled breakdowns, so I can let's go back. So basically, you, here's a photo that he pasted in, and then he has like it's pretty pretty straightforward. And for me, it was also interesting to work this way because uh, usually I do my own stuff, my own layouts.